Hello, this is kid reporter Maya Williams of the Scholastic Kids Press Corps. I'm here at Changing Hands Bookstore in Tempe, Arizona to interview Mike Lupica, sports columnist and author of many books for young readers. This is Hero, his newest book. What inspired you to write Hero? I liked comic books when I was a boy. And I thought, what if I took one of the boys from my other books and gave him some very cool stuff that he could do? Now, I got a question for you. Because my editor asked me this question. It was really the jumping off point for this book. If you could fly or be invisible, which one would you choose? Um, I don't know. Because invisible, you could see things that other people couldn't see. And when you fly, you could also see things that other people couldn't see. Can you fly or be invisible? Come um, on, Meyer. No. Be invisible. Really? See, now I pick fly. But when I started telling people that this was the question, and I saw mm -hmm. how people would get into arguments saying, no, invisible is better. I said, wow, now I get a good character. Because the fact is, in Heroes Act, can do both. And I, I, I had so much fun writing this book because I really wasn't sure what he could do. So I'm almost finding out, as the reader finds out, a great writer once said that the fun of writing is finding out that you know things you didn't know you knew. And when you're writing along in a book and something happens that surprises you, then you, got, you think you got a book that's really going to make people turn pages. Because if I can surprise myself, I think i got a good chance to surprise the reader and keep him doing the only thing matters to a writer. Turning those pages. Making you care enough to find out what happens next. Why did you decide to change the name of the main character and hero from Billy to Zack? Somebody that I like at my publishing house said, you know what, this is a very modern hero, the boy in this book. And she thought that Billy sounded more like an old-fashioned name than a modern name. And so I decided, then it came down to Will or Zack. Now, which one do you like better? Well, you better like Zack because it's in the book. So we went with Zach. Now, the only problem with Zach was Zach is also the name of my youngest son, which would have been fine, except I also have two other sons and a daughter. And now they want to know, how come I haven't named a main character after them yet? And I wish I had a good answer for that, but I don't. So I'm going to have to name a Christopher and an Alex and a Hannah. Why did you make Zach's best friend a female? Because I love writing great girls. Because I have a daughter your age, and if I don't write good, smart, tough, brave girls, I get into huge trouble at home. So I take pride in writing really cool girls, and I think Kate is a really cool girl. In Million Dollar Throw, Abby is as much the star of the book as Nate is. In, Million, in um, Miracle on 49th Street, the star of the book is a girl named Molly Parker, who's 12 years old. In Travel Team, Tess is, is a huge character in the book. So I, I've got a really smart, neat wife, and I've got a really smart, neat daughter. And so they've given me a good example to write smart, neat girl characters. Reading your book, The City of New York, feels almost as if it's a character itself. As a writer, how did you accomplish that? I got a question. How did you come up with such good questions? Are you sure you're only 11? I'm going to have to see some identification after we're done. Central Park in New York City is one of my favorite places on earth. And I thought, most people don't know just how much of it there is, how, how much water there is, how many trees there are, how many open fields. And this boy, Zach, grew up right across the street from it. And it's always been his playground. And I thought, what if it becomes a battleground, too? What if, you know, what if a lot of the action in this book doesn't take place in outer space and doesn't take place in some parallel universe? What if it takes place right in New York City and right in the heart of New York City in Central Park? So I had a ball researching the book because I probably walked and spent more time in Central Park than I ever had in my life, and I've been living in New York for a long time. So that... I. I've always felt that Central Park was almost like a movie set, and it kind of becomes that in Hero. How would you define the message of the book if there is one? There's one thing that runs from every book I've written, Travel Team all the way to Hero. It's this. Anybody can get knocked down in the world. It requires no talent. 
I could stand up and get knocked down right here. No talent. Anybody can do it. But it's how you get back up that's a measure of your heart and your character and your will and sometimes your courage. I write about kids who get knocked down a little bit. If you start reading one of my books, you know that I'm going to ask my main characters to overcome something. But I never give them more than they can handle. So in all of my books, my kids eventually stand up. And in Hero, not only does Zach stand up, he even gets to fly a little bit. This was Kid Reporter Maya Williams with the Scholastic Kids Press Corps reporting from Changing Hands Bookstore in Tempe, Arizona.